Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video, we're gonna see how to deploy Metal LB in your Kubernetes cluster. I know I have done a couple of videos about this in the past, but things have changed with the recent version of Metal LB. So that's what we're gonna be seeing today. So in my channel, if you search for Metal LB, right, so Cube 33.1, Cube 33, I think Cube 33 was the one that I did initially that was three years ago set up metal lb load balancing for bare metal kubernetes and then i did a follow-up video a year ago cube 33.1 because again because of the uh, the the version changes some of the installation steps have changed so i did this video and apart from these two specific metal lb videos you might have seen me using metal lb deploying metal lb in most of my other videos where i needed a load balancing solution for my local Kubernetes cluster. All right, this video, Cube 33.2, is again going to be one of these two Metal LB deployment stuff, but this time I'm going to be installing version 0.13.3, which is the latest version. So instead of talking, let me take you to the Metal LB website. Okay, so bare metal load balancer for Kubernetes, and you can see the latest version is 0.13.3. Okay, so let's try and deploy this in our Kubernetes cluster kubectl get nodes. I've got my own Kubernetes cluster from my Vagrant provisioning scripts. So it's a three node cluster with one master node, two worker nodes, version 1.24 Kubernetes and so on. So it doesn't matter what Kubernetes you're running, but as long as you are not in the cloud because Metal LB doesn't work in the cloud, this installation steps should work for you all, okay? Right, um, let's go to the installation section. Right, preparation, don't worry about all those things. Installation by manifest, there are a couple of ways to install installation by manifest, again with customize, and then there is also this Helm, but I find, so Helm is an external dependency, you need to install Helm, you need to add a Helm repository and things like that, but I would always go for the, the installation by manifest method for most of the stuff that I deploy in my Kubernetes cluster, unless I already have Helm running. Okay, so you can see here there's only one command now previously in, in all my previous versions, in all the previous versions of Metal LB, you would, you would have seen a couple of commands here. So the first kubectl apply command would just do deploy the, the namespace. It does nothing but deploy the namespace. I was kind of wondering why they have a kubectl apply command with a manifest.yaml file that deploys just a namespace. Why don't they just include everything in one YAML? That's what they did in this current version, version 0.13.3. Okay, so that's one less command to run. Right, let's run this command. Copy and paste. Okay, so there's one warning here. Policy version 1 beta 1 is deprecated in version 1.21 plus, unavailable in version 1.25 plus. Okay, so there's nothing to worry about. I hope Metal LB will update this uh, resource. Right, so if I do kubectl get namespace, we have the Metal LB system. kubectl minus n Metal LB system get all. Right, so we have the controller component, speaker component, everything is running. Speaker is a daemon set. Yep, it's a daemon set. And since we have three nodes in our cluster, it gets deployed to all the nodes and there's one controller which is running. The speaker is all, it's not running. It's having create container config error or something because there's one additional step we need to do. Let's go to the installation documentation. So we've deployed all the resources and now we want to configure it, all right? So controller component, speaker component is all running. And if you remember from all my previous Metal LB videos, we usually have a configuration of IP addresses that Metal LB can hand out to the Kubernetes service. So that's what we need to configure. We need to tell Metal LB what range of IP address it can use to hand out them to the Kubernetes services of type load balancer. So for that, I'm going to go to this link, start deploying resources. Right, so the change in version 0.13.3 is there's two new resources. So one is the IP address pool, which is a custom resource. And there's another custom resource called L2 advertisement. So in my previous videos, in the previous versions of Metal LB, you would just deploy a config map for layer two. You only run a couple of kubectl commands to deploy the resources like in here. So usually run this kubectl command and then go to the additional section and then you just run you deploy a configuration map containing the IP address range that you want to use for Metal LB right so but for from this new version for this new version sorry with this new version we're going to be doing things slightly differently so we are going to deploy 
a resource, a custom resource called IP address pool. So you can deploy as many IP address pool as you want. And each IP address pool, you can have a list of a number of uh, IP address ranges that you want to include. And later, we're just declaring the IP address pool here, but we also need to create this new resource, L2 advertisement resource. So that's the mapping between the L2 advertisement and the IP address pool, which I'll come to in a minute. First, let's deploy the IP address pool. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this and I'm going to temporarily paste that in, um, what do we call it? IP address pool.yaml. Okay, and I'm going to change, I'm just going to include one IP address range. So it's basically a list, the addresses are a list. So here in the example, they've given three items, but I'm just going to add just one entry to here. 172.16.16.240 to 172.16.16.250. I've just picked the last few IP addresses from my Kubernetes cluster network. Okay, so if I save that file, let's do kubectl get notes dash o y. So my Kubernetes cluster is uh, in the network range 172, 16, 16, 100, 101, 102, and so on. So it's basically 172, 16, 16, 0 slash 24 network that my Kubernetes VMs are in. So that's the range you need to specify for your IP address pool. Okay, so let's create that kubectl create minus f IP address pool. So that's created. If I do kubectl get IP address pools, you don't get anything because it's deployed to a specific namespace, which is Metal LB system. So if I do dash A, so now you can see it's deployed in the Metal LB system namespace and the IP address pool we created is called first pool. Okay, so that's done. kubectl describe IP address pool first pool okay dash n metal lb system okay so that's just the um, the detail for the ip address pool let's carry on okay so we've created the ip address pool now we need a way to announce this ip address um, in our cluster so that's where we use the l2 advertisement so this resource advertises the ip address to the kubernetes services okay so again there are two different ways so one is this method where you don't specify any IP address pool and if you look further down here it's exactly the same but you can see there's a spec section that specifies the IP address pool that this L2 advertisement is mapped to so that's you're establishing an association between the L2 advertisement resource and the IP address pool so if you specify an IP address pool or a list of IP address pools in your L2 advertisement resource. So the L2 advertisement can only use IP addresses from the list of IP address pools you've specified here. But if you don't specify, if you completely ignore the, the IP address pools option, the L2 advertisement resource can use IP addresses from IP address ranges from any of the IP address pool you deployed in your cluster. So that's the only different, okay? So for, for our case, let's just go with a very specified, very narrowed down version of L2 advertisement. You want to specifically tie this L2 advertisement resource to the IP address pool that we created. Okay, so copy that. I'm gonna edit a temporary file, copy that to a temporary file. So it's basically an L2 advertisement resource. Again, it's a custom resource uh, for Metal LB. And we are going to deploy that in the Metal LB system namespace. This L2 advertisement resource is called example and we are tying the IP address pool, first pool, to the sale to advertisement. So we created, in the previous step, we created this IP address pool and the IP addresses we have configured, the range we have configured in this IP address pool is 172.16.16.240 to 250, 10 IP addresses. So this L2 advertisement will hand out IP address from that IP address range. Okay, let's create that. Temp, okay, kubectl get, L2 again dash A for all namespaces because it gets deployed in Metal AB system namespace and there's this example kubectl describe L2 advertisement example dash N Metal LB system namespace okay there we go so we have the ip address pools ip address pool so we have mapped just one ip address pool 
to the CL2 advertisement. So it's all should be good now. And if I do cube CTL and metal LB system get all, fingers crossed, all the ports should be running fine now. Yes, all the speaker components are running fine. So now we are good to do a quick testing. Cube CTL create deploy nginx. So that's a very quick nginx deployment. Cube CTL get all. So nginx pod is getting created. Meanwhile, we can expose the service as of type load balancer. CubeCDL expose deploy nginx port 80. Type is going to be load balancer. And now let's do kubectl get all. Okay, our nginx pod is running and the service is, has been exposed as type load balancer. And already you can see the external IP 172.16.16.240 handed out by the metal lb system and that's the first ip address in the ip address range we specified in our ip address pool now if i do 172.16.16.240 it takes me to the nginx welcome page which is what we kind of expected all right so that's metal lb how to deploy metal lb i always use the l2 layer 2 configuration because that's the simplest one i've never tried the bgp configuration uh, but that's all you need to do. So everything is exactly the same except that instead of configuration map, instead of config map that you deploy in the previous versions of Metal LB, now we have to deploy IP address pool. You can deploy more than one IP address pool and uh, the YEL2 advertisement resource. These two are new custom resources. If I do kubectl get CRDs grep for Metal LB. You can see address pool, IP address pools, L2 advertisements. These are all the custom resources deployed by Metal LB. Okay, right. That's all for this video. I will see you all in my next video. Until then, keep learning and keep on learning. Bye-bye.